how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i will be showing you five amazing tips tricks and hidden features that will make you a pro android user all these tips and tricks will enhance your experience on android and i'm sure you're going to love this video with that being said make sure you guys watch it till the very end also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started first let me show you a couple of useful tricks related to google chrome well, we all use Google Chrome for browsing the web and today I will show you how you can speed up your browsing experience so pages will load faster. All you need to do is open your Chrome browser and search Chrome Flags. Here you need to search this keyword called Quick and you will find something called as Experimental Quick Protocol. Make sure you enable this option and then relaunch your browser once. After applying these settings, you will notice that pages are loading faster and you will have much better experience. Basically, this is Google's own protocol that aims at making the web faster, but it will only work in websites that are optimized to make use of this protocol. So sometimes you will not see much difference, but still it works most of the time. So I will highly suggest you to try this one out. Before I show you the next hidden feature, a quick word from today's video sponsor Droid Kit by iMovie. There has been times when you have forgotten your password and now you are unable to bypass the lock screen. In situations like this, all you have to do is download the software called iMobi Droid Kit from the link that I have provided in the description. Once you are done, simply install the software and you will see this interface where you get a lot of useful tools for your Android device. Since we want to unlock the lock screen, simply click on unlock screen and then select start. It will take some time to prepare the configuration file. Once it's done, just tap on remove now and then select the brand that you are using. Finally click on next and then follow all the steps that is on your screen. Guys, this software is extremely easy to use and within few minutes, you will be able to unlock your phone. Definitely check this one out. You can find a direct link in the description below. There has been times when you come across a file that you want to download, but you don't have enough data or you just want to download at the later day. In situations like this, what you can do is go to Chrome Flags and search download later. Here you need to enable both the options that are download later and download later on Wi-Fi. Once you are done, now when you try to download any file from Chrome, you will get this menu where you can choose a date or time or simply set to automatically download when you connect it to Wi-Fi network. I think it's a very useful feature and it comes handy when you don't have enough data on your phone. Similarly, let me show you another feature by using which you can schedule your messages. First, you need to make sure you have installed and running the latest version of Google Messages on your phone. Then select the contact and type the message that you want to send. Now instead of clicking on the send icon, you just need to press and hold on this button and you will get this option to schedule your message. You can easily pick a date or time when you want to send this message to your friend. Next is how you can check the online status of anyone without opening the WhatsApp application. You don't have to install any third party application from the Play Store. You just need to open your browser and search WA tools. Here you can find a lot of different tools for WhatsApp. You can download the profile picture of your friend. You can check whether a phone number exists on WhatsApp or not. But since you want to check the online status of your friend, simply click on check online status and here you need to enter the country code and type the mobile number of your friend. Finally click on this option called check online status and you will easily able to find the online status of anyone without opening the WhatsApp application. This comes very handy when you don't want the other person to know you are actually checking their online status. Whenever you want to share a picture from your gallery to multiple social platforms, first you will click on this share icon and then share it to WhatsApp. Then if you want to share that picture to Instagram, you will do the same process. So instead of doing the same process again and again, I will recommend you to download this application called copy to clipboard. What it does is basically it lets you copy the image to your clipboard and then you can easily paste it multiple times in different applications without the need of sharing the same picture again and again. The best part is it also lets you copy multiple pictures at the same time. Overall, it's a very good application and it will definitely save a lot of your time. Make sure you check this one out. So that's pretty much it. If you guys liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.